Hello everyone, my name is Sir VG, and today I'm going to be offering you a tutorial on how to open up the Samsung D3 Station external hard drives. With Newegg's recent eBay auction offering a 4 terabyte hard drive for $100, I'm sure there's a few other people besides myself that want to know how to open this thing up to use it as an internal hard drive. So this is the actual case itself. Very simplistic in its design. Screws are actually very well hidden. We're going to need a few tools in order to be able to tear into this. You're going to need a small Phillips head screwdriver, as well as a larger one. You're going to need a Torx screwdriver. I believe this is a T8. If you're not sure what a Torx is, it's the ones with six points on them. You're going to need an X-Acto knife. And in order to be able to pry into it, you're going to want something like a letterhead opener. Know that by doing this, most likely you're going to avoid the external cases warranty. So first we're going to need a letterhead because the screws are hidden underneath the bumpers. And to know which ones you need, look for the labeling and look at it right side up. The two bumpers that are above it are the ones that hold the screws. Or, you can look at it this way, we got the USB 3.0 and power connections, they are attached to the bottom. The other two bumpers are for balance, and they do not hold any screws. So first we're going to have to take these bumpers off, which you're going to want your X-Acto knife. Just stick it, pry it underneath, and just pull them right off. Nice and simple. Same thing with the other side here. Just going to take that underneath, and pry it up. Next, we are going to need our small Phillips screwdriver. And we're just going to take out these two screws because they attach to the top part of the case. These come off rather easily and just go flying all over the place. <laughs> Next, we're going to actually have to open the thing, which is a bit tricky. I'm going to show you one that I've already opened up here. Because they are basically held in by these clamps, as well as these larger ones here. These do make it pretty hard to open, which is why I'm recommending a something stiff like a letter opener, and not just using an X-Acto knife. And here is where the screws screw into the case, which is why we need to remove those two screws. You can use an X-Acto knife to kind of help you get started, but you don't want to do the bulk of the work with it because this thing will just snap. Okay. So I've got it kind of fished under there. So I'm going to then stick under my letter opener. And I gotta pry it in. And it's just a matter of popping it. As you can see, it's just a matter of just working your way around. I'm just kind of popping all those little clamps. Larger ones, a lot harder to remove, and there we go. Top case removed. So now we can actually see the actual hard drive itself. As you can see, this is a Seagate desktop hard drive, four terabytes. 
is specifically an ST4000 TM000. So next we're going to have to actually remove the hard drive from being fastened into the case. This is where we're going to need our Torx, so I'm going to exchange my head out. Now there appears to be six screws in here, but the only ones we need to remove are the ones in the four corners. The ones in the middle, they can stay in, they don't need to be removed in order to take the thing out. So I'm just going to remove them. It takes a little bit of force, not too much. Same thing with the other side. Now, even though this thing will not fall out once I remove all the screws, you see I'm still holding it in place with my with my left hand here. So, so you don't want to drop the thing. And the fourth one. It takes just a little bit of force because it is attached up at the top here. It's kind of protruding out of the case. But pull it forward from the bottom part of the hard drive. Just pull it forward and it just kind of slides right out, mostly. It is still attached via that LED cable. It's just a little clamp attached to the bottom. Just wiggle back and forth carefully. And it just pops right out. We're getting close to being done, but we need to remove this external connector here. It's attached to the bottom via two Phillips screwdrivers. These are a little bigger than the ones we used on the external case. So this is where we're going to need our larger Phillips. This is a 2 by 4 inch. 4 inch just because I like the length. And these come out with hardly any effort. Mostly due to this thing's long length. Now it is attached to the SATA connectors in the back, so you're going to want to pull this out the back. Just wiggle it back and forth here a little bit, just nice and careful. And there you go, removed. I'm almost done here, but there are actually four bumpers, two on each side. These are basically here to help cushion the hard drive within its case. The bumpers themselves are easily removed, it's just, they just pull straight off. But what's actually really holding them in place are these little black screws. They're just regular Phillips screws. So, and they're about the same size as that the ones before, before on the external. So I'm going to swap my head out and go back to my Phillips. And you screw off with really no effort. And again, we need to go fly all over the place. And there you have it. Our external drive is now prepared to be used as an internal drive. I hope you found this video tutorial helpful. If you did, please be sure to favorite it and give it a thumbs up. Share it with anybody else you know that purchased one of these that wants to use it as external. And thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.